A wormhole, it's a, if you look at space and time, we learned that gravity is the curvature of space-time. When you are falling towards something, you are simply sliding along the fabric of your space-time towards whatever it was that you were saying is attracting you. And so it's an interesting, it's a different construct from just action at a distance. You're there, I'm here, we have gravity, we pull each other, and that's it. It's a whole other thing going on. And if you think of space and time as fabric, then you can distort the fabric with the force of gravity. If you ask yourself, can I distort it in interesting ways that might benefit what I want to do in the universe? So mm. for example, I can get you around among the planets using the rockets that we've got, and I can get you there before you die, all right? Uh, so <laughs> moving around the solar system takes days to the moon, months to Mars, years to the to the outer planets and decade, you know, maybe one or two decades to Pluto. So what happens is, if you want to visit other stars, then every way we know to get there exceeds the human life expectancy. So you have to find a way to shorten that journey, knowing that the speed of light is not just a good idea, it's the law. Right. All right. There's a speed limit to how fast you can move in that fabric of space and time. The nearest star is four light years away. At the speed of light, you watch someone go at the speed of light, it'll take them four years. To do that, you say, okay, well, let's just do that then. But right. we're nowhere near the speed of light. All right? Right. This is, you know, so, so it's hopeless. And that's the nearest star. Nearest. So you imagine, is there a way maybe you can open up a hole in the fabric of space and time in a way that it's curved such that you can take a shortcut from one location to another. So imagine if you had a sheet that, and so compress everything to a sheet because otherwise it's hard to think of right. bending four dimensions. So, I could, so our universe is now a sheet. So if I take that sheet, normally I'd have to travel the full length of the sheet to get from A to B and I want to do that before the TV commercial, okay? And so what do you do? You warp the space and then open up a hole from one side to the other where the two places are close in this higher dimension. Right. And by doing so, you basically take this portal through, come out the other side, unfold the, the, paper, the page. And you've traveled all that distance in no time at all. It, it basically, and the no time part is, well, how, how much did you warp the space in order right. to do that? How, and if it, you warp it a lot, it can happen basically instantly, like walking through a doorway. Or if it's warped a little less, then it'll take you a little longer. But in all cases, your effective speed is way greater than the speed of light because you basically cheated and went, right. went across the other side.